Hiya, I am Husky Light. Thank you for stopping by. Right, this is a, I think this is quite an important video that I wanted to share with you um, and just help you out because at the moment from the collective consciousness with my angel cards this morning, I've just seen somebody else's angel cards which pretty much said exactly the same as mine this morning. I know that um, clearing our energy, getting rid of people and situations, thoughts, obsessive thoughts, um, smoking, drinking, all sorts of stuff, we need to get rid of at the moment in order, um, especially if you've been trying to manifest for the full moon, we need to get rid of them. Um, we need to clear our systems um, in order for that to happen. Um, it's not just all about being positive. Um, there's going to be situations where your positiveness is brought down unfortunately it can subconsciously be brought down by other people which is going to hinder your um, success in anything that you bring up so I wanted to go through this because it actually happened to me this morning and I didn't know what it was and I did a little bit of quick research on it um, and then saw somebody else's angel cards and went I've just said that exactly um, so I'm manifesting still but um, it was very important that I needed to know what it was in order not only for, to get myself cleared very quickly, but I need to tell you about it as well. So cord cutting, I'm going to explain what cord cutting is and, and why it's so important at the moment and, and how to do it actually is the most important thing. So your stomach is the core seat of your solar plexus chakra. This is your orange chakra about here. Um, it's, it's so important. It governs, not only does it govern all the physical symptoms relating to digestion, so we're, we're talking about the stomach itself, we're talking about the intestines, the bowels, all the bits that go around it, um, that make up the workings of it. The energetic, energetically, the solar plexus is giving governing your core self, it's your self-esteem, it's your self-worth, it's your self-confidence, it's how much you value yourself, it's how much empowerment you have within yourself. So it's really important um, part of your chakra set, it's, it's your personal power, okay? So it's the biggest and most powerful energetic center um, this is the area in which there is so much energy which can leave the body and enters the body through that particular chakra. And because there's so much energy held so close physically to the physical symptom systems, which it's got the ability to make us feel very unwell very quickly. Um, if there is something, if there is a spiritual thing there, that makes us immediately aware that there's something wrong um, to the moment it, within seconds or within a few minutes of an issue arriving or having a cord attached you, to you or something happening. This is when you can feel really physically not well. So you could feel this feeling of being very tired, of unrest, um, like I did completely Complete, you could be overcome with a wave of nausea, um, stomach cramps, indigestion, something along those lines, but it will manifest um, very quickly at that moment, within a few seconds or minutes of that, that happening, something happening. Now, I'll tell you briefly what happened um, this morning that sort of brought it to my attention. I had a lot of... Um, phone calls to deal with this morning and um, one of the phone calls in particular somebody invited me out and I said I'm very sorry but I've got loads and loads of stuff to do this weekend I'm not going anywhere it's the end of the month I've got readings to do and everything um, but thanks very much for asking I put the phone down and within immediately I put the phone down actually I just had this huge wave of nausea I thought, oh, that's horrible. I had to sit here for a few minutes and just try and calm. I, I wasn't that ill. I, would, I didn't vomit, but I really wanted to. And I thought, there's something, something seriously wrong here. What is it? And I had to do a little bit of research because um, I didn't immediately. I just knew there was something seriously wrong. And it, it was, I'd had a cord attached to me. Um, by this person because as soon as they put the phone down because I'd said no to them um, 
I think there maybe was a surge of anger or a surge of extreme thought from them aimed at me. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, in not a great way, which, which was aimed. Um, and I felt it. I felt it very, very strongly. Um, and this is what led me on to this. And this is why I'm making this video, because it's obviously with what I've heard from angels, angel cards, my angels, it's very, very important. Um, so obviously, if you've got this feeling of being unwell, there can be other reasons. You could have food poisoning. You could need to go to the doctors. You could have an appendix that's about to burst something. But you will know because the situation will point to that. Um, so yeah, there could be a medical reason. But most of the time it will be when it comes on that quickly like that and you know that you've just been in a strange situation. Um, it's something fit this uh, spiritual okay so it's this sudden pers persistent onset of a stomach related something or other um, so I'm going to give you a couple of couple of examples of this I've given you one sort of but I'm but I'm going to be able to tell you how to deal with it what to do about it if this actually happens to you um, I was very surprised by it this morning so um, yeah it was it was quite once so we've got this energetic um cord to your stomach your solar plexus plexus now an energetic cord is a link that connects you to another person another place another thing another event another situation um so think of these energetic cords as as tethers strings of connection between ourselves and and other people coming from one stomach to another um, and they're cre created and maintained through our relationships, through our thoughts, through our interactions, any interaction in which we, we give of ourselves, we think about, we devote our energy to um, or otherwise associate ourselves with, um, with somebody else. Now this has the power to create a cord. So <laughs> This energetic cord, this connection of our energy um, to the energy of another person, it's it's like a rope, a tree root, however you want to imagine what it is, a silver cord that's going to connect us, it's going to connect us to somebody else. And this cord can go both ways. So you can place a cord to something else, to somebody else, um, just like... <laughs> they can do it to you and it's like reaching out and touching the person next to you physically touching them um, that's what it is it's like a physical touch with your fingers on somebody else um, this psychic connection can occur with a cord and that's what it's like so we connect this unseen cord between ourselves and somebody else and the energy can go either either way um, so nausea, indigestion, upset stomachs can come through cord energy and it can be transferred um, if this link exists. Energy can travel along the cord, it can travel to us, it can travel from us, um, there can be an equal or an unequal, unequal exchange of energy. All that's happening here is this transfer of energy. Now the energy becomes a physical sensation it's thoughts feelings emotions um so when you get these nausea this cramping um things going on with you the most likely scenario is that somebody um just moments ago immediately has placed a cord to your stomach to your solar plexus and in almost all cases this is completely unintentional by them they don't know they're doing it it's subconscious and the cord was attached by somebody thinking about you talking about you um, and because the solar plexus relates to your confidence your ability your self-esteem your value um, even if it's only a momentary scenario um, that this happens it happens very quickly and this cord appears this um, psychic cord this energetic cord between you it could also be due to um, a lifetime 
or years or months or weeks of somebody thinking about you, talking about you, talking to you, about you, something like that. So for instance, it could be a friend, it could be a co-worker who is thinking about maybe you're really successful at work and they're wishing that they could be just as successful um, and as confident in you. And in effect, they attach a cord to your solar plexus, to your chakra in an effort to tap into your energy um, that's located there so that they can get some of that energy for themselves. It could be a parent, um, it could be some sort of mentor that you have who is continually pushing you to su succeed, um, but they're doing it in a way that makes you feel as though you're not good enough, you're not reaching your potential, they're really pushing you in that way. Um, it could be an acquaintance, a friend, wondering how you've gotten to be where you are um, in life, perhaps feeling a little bit jealous and having jealous feelings of your situation. Um, it could be an ex, it could be um, somebody who, he's, who has just immediate negative thoughts against you because maybe you've said no to them or you've not acted in a way that, in which you may usually act with them which has caused them you know to get angry at you you've had an argument with somebody there has been some and these thoughts or these words that this person is is coming out with and it's either aimed at a person or a situation or a thing and if it's aimed at a person if it's aimed at you it creates this cord now we can do it just as easily in the other direction so this is why we have to be careful of our thoughts because we're all connected um, and this is and this is what happens and in all of these cases this stomach cord has been placed um, that's transferring energy either away from you it's taking your energy away from you um, in the in the form of thoughts and desires that are not beneficial to you this is why you have to clear this is why you have to get people out of your life who are not serving you because they're not helping you they're hindering you in your path forward um, so if they're having ill thoughts about you know not good thoughts about you jealousy thoughts not positive feelings this is what's going to happen it's going to trans translate and it's going to manifest into feelings of sickness uh, within yourself now there is another reason uh, but actually before I go on to to that reason what do we do if this has happened to us well, how do we fix this if you become aware of this this is the the case of a psychic van vampire basically sucking on your energy taking your energy from you by having not so good thoughts about you or or even physically saying them to you and attaching this cord if this happens to you if you're aware of this if you're not feeling well if you're feeling a bit tired it's very likely you've got this psychic vampire around you and as I say they don't do it deliberately they're probably subconsciously doing it we all have thoughts about other people in one way or the other you know we all have you know if somebody annoys us or something we'll think something to ourselves about them if you do it in such a strong way <laughs> and you've got a bit of power behind it though it will um, manifest in the other person um, so we've all been a psychic vampire at one point or another whether we know it or not um, unfortunately so if you're surrounded by somebody like this get the hell away from them <laughs> especially this week um, good ways of getting rid of them and clearing yourself and getting yourself better you need to meditate you need to imagine yourself cutting the cord um, from between you and this other person so it's going to be coming from their stomach to your stomach um, you need to imagine cutting it with a huge pair of scissors and getting rid of it. Now also, you also need to make sure when you do this though, you're imagining cutting the cord or the root or the tether, however you imagine it's going to be, however it's shown to you in meditation. Imagine cutting it, but if you imagine you're just cutting the centre of the, the rope, let's say, so you're now going to have two pieces of rope, one stuck in them and one stuck in, in you. The actual hooks that hook into your stomach to keep that tether, that rope there is the bit that does the damage. So you've cut it 
and you've separated from the other person but you also need to imagine removing those hooks from them and from you because you don't want them to hurt um, and you definitely want them out of you that is the bit that you need to heal that is going to do some damage because that's the bit that has touched you so imagine yourself just unhooking any hooks from that rope that has gone into your stomach and get them unhooked once you've done that send them light send them love um, send them on the way <laughs> and imagine yourself in a nice big pink bubble gum bubble um, filled with white light you are safe you're protected um, you have protection around you and it's a good idea to do this at the moment as well if you're going to even if you haven't felt any of this if you're going to work if you're going to the supermarket if you're having a social evening uh, with a lot of people around you just protect yourself get this big bubble around you you can also imagine yourself um, surrounded by mirrors but make sure <laughs> don't have them pointing inwards make sure the mirrors are pointing outwards from you and surrounding you so that if anybody could so if anybody subconsciously or consciously deliberately or not deliberately one of these psychic vampires starts to direct bad thoughts towards you the mirror will just reflect it back to them it'll reflect it off yourself you're not going to absorb the energy it's not going to hit you so you're going to be safe and you're going to be protected um it might sound a bit cookie to some of you but it works so please try it when you actually physically you know realize what's going on um, and you get physical symptoms from it it's quite distressing also drink lots of water get yourself cleared if you're overeating smoking drinking stop it this week um, as well because all of those things can affect your aura and make it easier for people to come in at you as well um, I've made <laughs> this looks disgusting my son I won't even say what my son said it looked like this is green tea with icing iced green tea which is really good for detoxifying I've had a pint of it I'm gonna have another pint of it um, and just keep clearing um, it's really good for detoxifying especially the stomach area and your liver and things like that it's just just get everything cleared and purged from inside you so that is one way to deal with um, if this happens to you now there is a re another reason if this happens to you if you've already been going through the healing process and you've already been purging um, if you've recently um, gone through any major life changes any big transformations any periods in your in your life where you've walked away from something if you've walked away from someone a situation that is no longer serving you um, and then you have fallen ill um, the issue that you're most likely facing is often not not an actual cord because you've you've walked away from that situation and you've done it but you're then doing the healing bit so it could be once you cut the cord you may get ill again <laughs> lovely as you're going through the healing and the purging and you're letting out all this crap from within your body all this old energy that needs to come out of you in order for the new energy and the new directions in life and the good stuff to come into you um, so it it's gonna play out in in two ways so it's especially if the, if the case if you've made a decision um, that benefits your well-being that benefits your highest uh, and greatest good in some way by doing that so you you could have walked away from a job from a work situation um, in which you were constantly berated being bullied something un under underworked uh, sorry overworked but under underappreciated you could have recently cut ties with um, a friend that you might have considered toxic you already had those feelings of being tired and they were whinging at you whenever whenever you decide to move in a direction a new direction on your life path one that will bring you more happiness and joy um, to your life this is likely to happen in one way or another so if you've made a conscious decision or an unconscious decision to improve uh, your feelings of self-worth your feelings of self-esteem your feelings of self-confidence by doing one of those things and you've moved away from something 
you've made that decision to heal your solar plexus, to heal your stomach, your chakra, solar plexus. And part of the healing process is going to be involving uh, removing that which no longer serves you. So if you've been or become aware that you're in one of these situations, either you've already walked away and you've done it or you suddenly realize, oh my God, I have to clear that person or that situation because this is how I feel when I'm near them or thinking about it or you've had a cord attached. Um, if you're in one of those two situations, it's a process that you are going to have to go to. So as a process, um, if you find that you're in the situation where you've got a psychic vampire, around you. You need to separate yourself from the situation in your physical life. So you need to distance yourself. Um, you need to switch jobs. You need to go to another job. You need to cut contact. You need to remove the remnants of that connection in your energetic like life. You need to cut the cords, which in turn is going to heal you. It's going to get rid of any blockages. It's going to get rid of any stagnant energy that that was hindering you and you're making way for the good in your life and this is going to occur on a physical and an energetic level so taking away the old and bringing in the new is a really good thing but unfortunately sometimes we might actually feel it physically so if you're getting a purge of, of healing if you're getting rid of that old energy if you're bringing in the new positive uh, flowing energy that's coming into you this feeling of ill, this feeling of tired, um, this this healing can move through you and it's a process um, that you have to go through and you go through it on your own. Um, remember to put the, the bubble gum around you and protect yourself and the white light and the mirrors and whatever else, have a look, whatever you feel comfortable doing, do all of that. If you don't feel comfortable doing all of that yourself, maybe, um, go and find a Reiki master, go and have a Reiki session. Um, they will clear all of your chakras for you. They will know spiritually and energetically, they will know where the blockages are and they will work on it. They will bring white light into your body to heal your body. Um, so you can do it through a Reiki master or do it yourself as I explained um, before. But however you want to do it, as you heal, you're going to have stuff come up to get rid of, um, which is, which doesn't feel very nice as the, the old energy moves out from the solar plexus and the new energy starts to come in. We have to get rid of that old energy first. Um, so it'll take the form of physically wanting to throw up or feeling tired or feeling just uh, having flu symptoms as well. Um, don't stop the process once it's started. Um, just say drink lots of green tea, water, do everything that you can, rest as much as you can. Um, it will usually actually, once you start the process of doing it, take about 12 to 24 hours. So within that time, get as much rest as you can. Um, I've done what I did this morning. I'm drinking lots of green tea and water and trying to clear everything out now. I've cut the cords, um, the energetic cords. Uh, have separated, I've moved away from that situation. I can't completely move away, but now I'm aware of it. I can put my mirrors around me. Um, and I do, I've got the, I, I had the immediate onset of the feeling sick um, during the, after, straight after the conversation this morning, but I'm now in the, I just feel exhausted. Um, want to go and lie down and rest, but it's part of the process. So just keep up with the process and know that it's a good thing because you're healing and you're getting rid of crap out of your life and once you've got rid of the crap out of your life um i can't think of another word for it actually it's just, it's just getting rid of all the stuff that's inside your body and getting rid of it once all that has, has gone it allows you you've got rid of the blockages it's allowing you to bring the good into your life the good stuff that wants to come in you've been trying to manifest you've been doing all your meditations up until the full moon um, it's not going to come in if there's still stuff that needs to be cleared it's not going to happen um, 
so it's not it's not always just about staying positive there is always other factors that come in like this sometimes so i hope i hope this helps if you feel any of these symptoms if you are aware that you, maybe somebody is around you that is draining your energy and say they don't do it it's not malicious they don't do it deliberately you know if if we actually knew how powerful our thoughts can be sometimes um you know and remember that all the time because you know even i forget sometimes we would um be very very careful about what we think um you know so obviously is that you know people around you that are not as conscious as you are as not awake as you are and don't realize how powerful their thoughts can be especially if they're malicious especially if they're not good thoughts it will have a physical effect on you so questions bung and below i'll try and help if i can hopefully I've, I've gone through everything i can think of i've probably repeated myself a few times during this video but i wanted to just let you know the important how important it is um, and it obviously happened to, things happened to me to learn from, things happened to me so that I can come back on and help you as well. The angel cards said it this morning, as I said, I've just said somebody else's angel cards who pretty much said word for word what I mentioned to my son earlier on. Um, when I said, oh my God, I've just realised that somebody's put a cord between me, me and them, and I've got to cut them. And I heard somebody else say it. Um, which led me on to research, which led me on to this. So, whew, do need to rest. I've got all the cards to get out this weekend. I'm going to rest first, but it is important just to be aware of it. Um, and I've harped on a bit about it, but it is really, really important. Just be aware of who you're with, who you're spending time with, who is around you. Be very aware of your physical feelings, feeling tired, feeling uneasy, feeling a bit jittery, um, nervous, physically feeling sick, uh, maybe having diarrhea as well, um, maybe having all these stomach problems. It's either because you've got a psychic vampire around you and you need to get cords cut quick and get away from them or, you know, protect yourself as much as possible. Or it could be that you've already made a subconscious conscious decision to move away from situations, places, things, jobs that are not serving you in order for you to, to get happy and move forward. And because you've done that, getting rid of the crap inside you is also going to bring up those, those physical manifest, those physical feelings as well. But as I say, they only let, just go with the flow. Don't stop the process. It lasts about 12 to 24 hours. You're going to feel a bit crap, a bit rubbish for that time. Then you're going to feel great. <laughs> and then you're going to be able to move forward. Then you've got a really good chance then of bringing in that stuff that you've been wanting, that you've been trying to manifest. So, namaste, blessings and light. I hope this helps. Um, yeah, and any questions, just bung them below if you need any help with anything. Okay, all right then, bye.